Hi guys and welcome to a new tutorial. As I promised you before, I want today um, to show you how you can use text tools for um, texture editing, which is like really, really advanced um, in the new text tools. Well, not that new anymore, but uh, it's still something that is uh, helpful a lot in creating mods and editing mods. And I want to show you this on um, based on two examples. One example is going to be a glow tattoo, which we will um, apply with the penumbra suite as well, so we can directly see the changes in game. And I also want to show you guys how you can um, fix the super hard, um, like nearly metallic look on some hairs um, pretty easily in, uh, in text tools as well. So um, with that, we are going to start. Um, since I'm using uh, my Viera, um, I'm, I need to apply the tattoo that I want to apply on the Viera female body. As you can see, I don't have anything currently in here. To change this, I'm actually going to not begin a transaction, but prepare one. And I'm going to install the prettier body, which Shana and me created. And with um, doing this in prepare, the things are not being packed. So I can use this for everything that I want to place on it for later. So I don't really care about this. The only important thing is that I have here my skin. For Midlander and Highlander and of course in Khotka, uh, you have your own skins. And of course, like you need to decide um, uh, on the skin for... Um, for Xayla and uh, Juan. So as I can see now, now I have it in here. And if I check in there, I have just my things in here, but my transaction says preparing. So I'm gonna change this now to begin transaction because I want to make uh, a mod pack, like a simple one, so I can immediately see the, cha see the changes in game. So the only thing that I'm that I'm gonna do is basically I go here to my Viera B because this is my Gen Three um, texture, and I'm just editing this to emissive. Confirm and save to TX. Now this is already added and this is actually enough for me. So I just click this here. I'm gonna go this to Shivana Glow Viera and commit transaction. Now I actually put this here in game as mod and we didn't do anything yet. So this is just the model itself. So if I'm changing it to enabled, I can actually see I have conflicts. So to actually have this visible, I need to have it on 200, for example, anything basically above 100. All right. And now um, I have in here, transaction status is closed, and now I can attach it to Penumbra. And maybe did modified. Yeah, I can click here. Don't double click, basically just so that it's highlighted and select folder. And now I have Penumbra sync working. So um, just checking first. So emissive is turned on. So now we need to add the emissive. So I'm adding here a constant. And I'm changing this to emissive color. And I have 111, which means normalized um, color, means basically just white. So if I hit here confirm, my whole, whole character should now glow if everything is working correctly. And perfect. Why does it glow? Because the emissive actually is taking. Um, oh no, it killed my texture. This is so annoying. Right, I'm just gonna import it back. Just basically place it over the one that I have. And eh, but first let us let us uh, let us do the mod pack. Um so I go basically here on normal and in here let me actually just import this again. Hold on out. Pythia. Where's my Pythia? There we go. If 
gonna place it in here. And now I should basically have my texture maps back. Because we don't care really for the texture maps except the normal one. This is important. So just checking if everything is working. Okay, confirm. Edit shader constants, checking if this is in, if it's not in, I need to add it back. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so just see whatever is working for you guys. I have still my transaction status working, but now of course with the uh, with all of Prettier loaded in, this might take a moment. Um, in general, what you can do now in um, in text tools is pretty cool because if I go here now um, to my normal map and I hide everything except the alpha, you can see that it's bright white, which means this is basically what we need to place our glowing tattoo on. Like um, in old days, basically black is non-glowing, white is hard glowing. And just want to make sure this baby is working. So hitting self. And we are going in here. Yep. And placing it on 200. And saving this to Penumbra. So we are back to our super hard glow. Perfect. Now just checking if all the other maps are in here. Now it works. Nice. So basically this one, we need to be in black and white. White is going to be the glow, as you can see. And black is non-glowing. So um, in this case, actually, I can hit to add alpha overlay. But before we do this, since it's, it's just an overlay, I want to make this all black. So I go here to edit channels. And I can choose here now the alpha. And with the fill option, on zero means basically that it's going to be filled with black. 200 for, uh, 255 is going to be filled with white. So I'm going to hit here fill. And you can see immediately what it changes. And I'm going to apply changes. Now save, pen save to penumbra. And we should be back to our actual um, skin color. Perfect. And now we can hit here add alpha overlay which I'm basically using um, a white PNG, placing it in here. And now if I save this to Penumbra, it should glow. And there we go. But we can see that like here, it's a little bit overdoing and maybe we want to have it like a little bit less glow. So technically now you would have to take this out of um, text tools and place it in um, Photoshop, etc. Not anymore because now we have the great option to go here to edit channels. And we go back to our alpha and we actually say we want to darken it which we have to do a few times so you can see a change. And now you can actually see how it's getting darker. So I'm apply changes. And now letting Penambo do some work. And you can see that we actually can now see the different things. If you are like, okay, but now I want to have it like uh, maybe a little bit stronger again. You go back into here. Just make sure that you are in the correct channel. You're going to alpha and you're brightening it a bit again. But careful, as you can see, if you brighten it now, it brightens basically everything. So not only the highlighted parts, but all of it. So keep this in mind when you are when you are editing your texture. Um, so when you are done here, what I would actually suggest is not using this here for packing because then you pack everything. Just go into here, create mod pack, advanced, then just do a glow tattoo, just whatever. And then add a group, standard group. And for example, now you can do this for all other um, materials as well, like Met A, Met B, and Met Bibo. Um, and basically just have here Skin Glow, Viera, Met B. 
now this is important because like you need actually to pack this so go to the uh, character then body i'm going to rear female and then basically pack the whole thing so choosing this one um include child files at existing and now you have everything packed just hit finish give it a name and there you go pretty easy if you are too lazy for that basically since you hit uh, you hit constantly save to penumbra it's uh exactly doing that so even if we now turn this off we can still see that it's working so another thing I want to show you is um, because I have seen a few people getting uh, getting annoyed by this. I need to go in here for a moment and need to make it actually day. Because I've seen some people having issues with older hair, which are like having a super hard sheen. Um, like it almost looking metallic. I actually found an old hair for me who has the same issue. And you can see that like, this is like super, super weird. And there's actually like a great, um, a great way to fix this very fast in um, text tools. So for this, I'm actually attached to Penamo again, since this is an easy mod pack. I can basically just um, choose it from here, select folder. And you can see now I have a penumbra sync. So I just need to go to the hair for my Viera. And have Viera female. And in nearly 60% of cases, or let's say actually 80, where you have such a weird sheen, there's like a super easy fix. So you go basically to your mask of the hair. Then you hit edit channels. If you want to like see what is happening, you can undo everything because it's about the green channel and in most cases if it's if this is too dark this is causing the sheen so what we can basically do is we go here to edit channels choosing the green one and invert now we have if we apply changes the weird metallic is gone might be actually a little bit now too clean. So you can go into here, edit channels, go back to the green and just darken it a tiny bit. Like not fully, but just so you get some actual um, entropy back. And that looks much better. Anyway, that's it. I hope that was helping. Um, if you check the um, edit channels uh, stuff, you can see like we have a lot of options here. Like we can brighten and darken. We can fill it with whatever color, but only like full. We can invert it, which is basically what we just did. We can also copy different channels to other ones. So if I want to, ex for example, make um, a, new, uh, a new metal, um, I normally copy the red to the green, then invert it and then brighten it a bit. And that's how we get uh, like this lovely uh, pinkish uh, multi, which is like great for anything metallic wise. And um, yeah, that's it. Um, if you want to add a tattoo you, to your skin, like which is not glowing, you can also just use the add overlay. So this is basically add overlay on all uh, on all the um, on all the channels and at alpha overlay only adds it on the alpha channel. I hope that helps. I hope um, this is giving you also some uh, ideas what you can do in text tools now. Also how you can adjust this very easily even when you uh, uh, even when you uh, want to change things directly in game. So. Um, if you have any questions, um, the server Darkmoon's Realm is open for everything. Um, otherwise, you can also find me in the text tool server or in any bigger uh, of the modding servers. Um, if you want to 
create things. Um, Sean and me opened uh, a Patreon actually um, focusing on 3D teaching. So you won't get there any mods, but you will get there the knowledge how to make mods and how to make 3D models. Um, so you could even apply anywhere in the gaming industry. All right, that's it for today. I hope you, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can ask me here under the video or basically just join um, the Discord or book something like a one-on-one -on -one with me if you want to have like a specific lesson. Anyway, lovelies, that was it. I hope you had fun and this concludes my text tools basic explanation tutorial series. I hope it was fun. See you around. Bye-bye.